Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is the quick quiz paired sa ating lesson ng logic na no or non. So if you haven't seen that video lesson yet, i-click nyo yung i button dito sa taas. Ilalink ko yung video kasi mahirap ito sagutin kung hindi nyo pa alam yung concept. Okay? So i-pause nyo muna to and go and watch that first. Now, if this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make these videos to help you guys sa mga exams or just to further your knowledge sa mga bagay-bagay. And if you're interested and you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos, I have a bunch more uh, in line, you can um, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi siya ma-miss. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to give you some time to answer these questions. I'm going to give you um, three minutes for every question kasi medyo mahirap yung logic, no? And then at the end of those uh, nine minutes, kasi tatlo yung questions ay bibigay ko sa inyo, I'm going to explain yung Tama sagot. So, if you're ready, um, grab your pen and paper or yung phone ninyo kung saan kayo nagsusulat and uh, get ready because we're going to start the quiz right now. Alright, so here's the quick quiz for our lesson on logic, no or none. Uh, there are, are going to be three questions here and since uh, itong klaseng tanong na ito ay malit, medyo a little tricky siya, I'm going to give you three minutes for each question so you can draw it and take your time. So make sure that you get your phone or your um, pen and paper para willing kayo or ready kayo mag-drawing for this. Okay, so if you're ready, your uh, timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. Okay, so yung first question, sabi dito, no smart person is lazy. No lazy person is successful. Janelle is smart. Janelle is blank. So again, we need to know kung ano ba si Janelle. So the best way to do it is to draw it. So sabi no, smart person is lazy. Ibig sabihin kung ikaw ay smart, hindi ka pwedeng maging lazy. They are two separate circles. Now, sabi next, no lazy person is successful. Ibig sabihin kung ikaw ay lazy, hindi ka pwedeng maging successful. So the circle na successful has to be outside or nasa labas, nakahiwalay dun sa lazy na circle. So you can draw it here. Okay, so nasa labas naman pa rin siya. Pwede rin dito, hindi natin sure, kasi ang importante lang, nakahiwalay siya sa lazy. Pwede rin dyan, okay? Pwede rin dito. So, dito na po mapasok yung sinasabi natin na hindi tayo sure kung nasaan siya banda dyan. So, yung sinabi na statement, which is, Janelle is smart, what do we know about Janelle? Janelle, if Janelle is smart, ibig sabihin, okay, si Janelle ay nasa loob ng bilog na, na smart, okay? Ano ang alam natin tungkol sa kanya? Okay? Is Janelle successful? Now, if you look at the picture, posible, posible, kasi pwedeng, kung nandito siya banda, successful siya. Kung nandito siya banda, successful siya. Pero may posibilidad kasi na hindi. Kasi hindi natin alam kung yung bilog na successful ba ay nandyan talaga. Paano kung yung bilog na successful ay nandito? Kung nandito yung bilog, ibig sabihin, kahit smart siya, hindi ibig sabihin nun, successful siya. So, kung hindi ka 100% sure na tama yung sagot, then it must not be True. So, ito ay hindi pwedeng maging sagot. That's actually the same concept din sa not successful. Kasi hindi ka sure. Kasi kung, pwede, kung dito siya, pwede pa rin eh. Kung dito yung bilog. Eh kaya lang, kung dito, pwede rin hindi. So, kung hindi ka sure na hindi siya successful, hindi na siya pwedeng sagot. Which means, ang C, hindi rin pwedeng sagot kasi smart na nga, successful pa. Eh, hindi nga siya successful. Smart siya. Yes. Sigurado ka dyan kasi sinabi sa statement. Pero yung successful, hindi ka 100% sure. So, this must not be correct. Now, not lazy. Now, if you look at the picture, si Janelle ba kung smart siya, ibig sabihin hindi siya lazy? Now, if you look at the picture, consistent siya. Kasi nga, again, kung smart ka, nandito ka sa loob, hindi ka pwede maging lazy. So, the answer here would be letter B. And I hope you got that right. Okay? Alright, let's move on to question number two. Sabi, no red is blue, some blues are purple, all reds are purple. If apple is purple, apple is red, is, and then it's either true, false, or uncertain. So again, ang, like before, drawing ang katapat nito. If no red is blue, ibig sabihin yung bilog na red, nasa labas siya ng bilog na blue. Yan ang drawing ng first line. Now, sabi sa susunod, some blues are purple. Ibig sabihin, kukuha ka sa blue, yung iba sa kanila purple din. Now, tingnan natin yung second line. Sabi, some blues are Purple. Ibig sabihin nun, kung ikaw ay blue, okay, automatic, ikaw ay, some of you are also purple. So, pwede kang kumurot dyan, kasi diba sabi natin, if you say some blue are purple, okay, ang ibig sabihin yan, ang drawing mo would be yung regular Venn diagram. Yung ibang blue ay purple din. So, pwede ko siyang i-incorporate dyan. Kaya lang, again, if you look at the next statement, all reds are purple, ibig sabihin, yung bilog na red, in this statement naman, yung bilog na red, dapat nasa loob na mas malaking bilog na purple. Ibig sabihin, I have to fulfill both conditions. So, ibig sabihin, ang tamang drawing niyan would look like this. Kasi, some blues are purple. Again, itong part na to, they are blue and purple. Tapos, dapat pa yung red nasa loob na mas malaking bilog na purple, which is this. Right? Yung mga bilog na red, yung nasa loob na bilog na red, nasa loob ng bilog na purple, automatic. Yan yung itsura ng magiging drawing natin. Now, ang statement... If apple is purple. So, kung si apple, um, yung apple ay purple, okay, ibig sabihin si, yung, yung apple, dito natin lalagay siya sa purple na bilog. Now, may options ka. Pwede siya dito. Hindi ka sure. Again, pwede siya dyan kasi purple pa rin siya kung nandyan siya. Pwede siya dito. Okay? Pwede siya dito. Kasi purple pa rin yan. So, may multiple possibilities sa kung ano si apple. So, pwede siya maging red. At purple, pwede siyang maging blue at purple. Pero hindi siya pwede naging red, blue at purple at the same time. So, titinan lang ngayon natin. Yung statement which is apple is red, is it true, false, or uncertain? Now, kung dito yan, then it would be true. Kaya lang, may posibilidad na nandito siya. Which would make uh, apple e neither red nor blue. Nor, uh, no, ang importante lang, purple lang talaga siya. Kung dito mo naman siya ilalagay, and again, pwede mo pa rin siya ilagay kasi ang alam lang natin is that apple is purple. So, kung nandyan siya, hindi na siya magiging red. 
Okay? So, kung hindi ka sure, kung nasan siya dyan, hindi ka sigurado, the answer here would be uncertain. Kasi, posible siya maging red, posibleng hindi, posible siya maging blue, which is automatically hindi red. Kung hindi ka sure, uncertain. So, the answer to number two is uncertain. I hope you got that right. Okay? Let's go to number three. Sabi, walang maganda na pangit, walang maganda na ma-artist, si Candy ay maganda. Alin ang totoo? So, again, uh, Ano lang to, tinagalog ko lang para lang may, may options, may dynamics siya, medyo interesting. And the same concept applies. Pag sinabing wala, ibig sabihin, none of them or no. Uh, so, no one na beautiful is ugly. Parang ganun lang. So, ang um, first line would be drawn like that. Walang maganda na pangit. So, kung ibig sabihin, yung bilog na maganda, nakahiwalay sa bilog na pangit. Now, next sabi, walang maganda na maarte. Ibig sabihin, kung maarte ka, yung, yung ikaw ay nasa labas dapat ng bilog na Maganda. Kasi automatic hindi ka maganda. So, pwede ka dyan. Okay? Kasi nasa labas siya ng M. Pwede ka rin actually dyan. Kasi nasa labas pa rin ng M. Pwede ka rin dyan. Kasi ang importante lang, nakahiwala yung M sa A. Or sa maarte. Kasi walang maganda na maarte. Now, kung si Candy ay maganda, ibig sabihin si Candy nasa loob siya ng bilog na maganda, what do you know about Candy? Now, ito natin. Hanap ang alin ng totoo. Maarte ba si Candy? Eh, hindi. Kasi maganda siya, di ba? At saka ito yung mga A, eh, nasa, nasa, nakahiwalay siya dyan. So, hindi ito totoo. Now, hindi pangit si Candy. Okay? If you look here, hindi naman talaga siya pangit kasi nakahiwalay yung bilog na pangit sa maganda. So, kung maganda siya, imposible siya maging pangit. So, ito, pwede. Now, check muna natin yung ibang statements. Sabi, pangit si Candy. O, hindi pwede yon kasi nga again, si Candy nandito sa loob ng bilog na maganda. So, hindi na to tama. And then, lahat ng pangit ay maarte. O, tignan natin. Kung pangit ka ba, automatic maarte ka. Okay? The answer to there would be hindi. Ito ay uncertain. Kasi hindi ka sure. Posible. Kasi kung ito yung bilog, yes. Pero kung hindi, pwedeng part of them or pwedeng wala. So, ito, hindi ka rin sure. The answer becomes letter B. Hindi pangit si Candy. Okay? So, again, I hope na you see how parang how close each thing is and how easy it is to get it wrong para pag kayo nag-exam uh, magpipay mag kayo ng extra attention at ito-drawing nyo talaga siya before you actually change your answer. Okay? Now that is the quick quiz for uh, this lesson and I hope you enjoyed uh, itong lesson natin ngayon. If you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga susunod. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more updates for yung live review events on our review program and yung mga reviewers that I made. I would love to hear back from you guys. So thanks guys for watching. Never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.